Hi, I'm Susan Jane. Hi, my name is Michael Davis. Together, we have a group called Help Wanted. I could find this someone. Could I see you? I always get asked how Country for a Cause came to be. Well, actually, I owned a store in Southbridge called John Wayne and Sue's Country Living. And I always did a show of spotlight for Southbridge on the common. Well, one year, these three young men came up to me and they said, we really could use your help. And I said, okay, well, come on back to my store and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. And I knew they were from the Center of Hope. I didn't know a lot about the Center of Hope at that time. And they came and they said, you know, Sue, we really could use some new uniforms. And, and it's really hard for us to get funding for all of our activities. And so they said, well, why don't we do a concert? And they said, you can perform and we can sell tickets and we can have people come and we can raise money. They got all the donations themselves. They put everybody here through heck because they wanted everything done right away. But they arranged the whole thing. I, I just kind of supervised a little bit. And that was the start of it. And each year, it got bigger and bigger. And when I got a band, the band came in and they were blown away by the personalities and the people that were involved. So you see, this goes far beyond raising money for these kids to go and play sports. This is about these guys being part of our lives. And, and I'll tell you right now, they have taught me a lot more than I have given them. And I'm just hoping that people will see this and come out and experience and see the smiles and see the feet tapping and, and see what these people have to offer. And maybe a little bit, bit will rub off on When people ask about what this is about, it goes far beyond raising money for these kids. David's no longer with us, but every year it was a tradition. He would get up and he would do the Pledge of Allegiance, get everybody going, and then he would sing King of the Road. And I, I, a lot of people don't know it, but Every night, David would call us after he lost his mom, and we had him call us every night just to say, Hey, Sue, Mike, I'm okay. I'm going to bed now. And when that call didn't come, it was tough. It was really tough. I don't know how many times we've had people who go to this event for the first time. They come away saying, <laughs> Why have you never yeah. told us about this? And, and then they come back year after year after year, and they bring and people. And they bring people. Um, like I said, this year we've, we've already got numerous amount of people that want to want to come and support this thing. We got people giving donations, um, raffles to give away. I mean, this is really it, it's getting big. People don't realize that this is all. Everybody's donating their time. I mean, I not only have, Michael and I have the most talented musicians in New England, but they have the hugest hearts because... They'll be up to dance with them. Absolutely. And this is one of the things, this is probably the show that everybody looks forward to every year. You, we play to thousands of people all the time. It's not the same. It just isn't the same. I'm always saying no matter where we are, we're going to always be down here on the show. Hi, my name is Linda Canoyer, and I am the mother of a child with intellectual and developmental disabilities. My daughter Denise represents 180,000 individuals in Massachusetts who may or may not currently be receiving support services. Funding is crucial and is not guaranteed from the state or federal government. Each year, advocates fight against budget cuts, and agencies such as the Center of Hope need to find more creative ways 
in raising revenue for Life for Feeling Supports and Programs. One of the center's fundraisers that has grown through the years is Country for a Cause. Michael David, Susan Jane, and the Help Wanted Band came to us and asked us how they could help. I remember the days when Susan would bring one of our beloved program members up on the stage to kick off the event by singing God Bless America. Through the years, this local country band has become part of our family and loved by all. Won't you join us for a full night of music and dancing on July 17, 2015 at Indian Ranch in Webster. Support this event with a tax-deductible donation or sponsorship would make a huge impact on the individuals we serve. But so would your participation in enjoying a night out and making new friends. Denise and I would love to meet you. Thank you in advance.